everyone happy new year now i've not really given myself any definitive new year's resolutions for 2022 but something i said i'm going to do more of this year is reading i really do love a good book but in recent years i have slowed down my prime reading ages were probably well not probably definitely between the ages of 12 and 16 but saying that this year i'm going to make a conscious effort to actually pick up a book and read so without further ado here is a tour of my bookshelf now my bookshelf is literally the pride and joy of my bedroom i absolutely love it However, to have my room the way I wanted it and to have my bookshelf the way I wanted it, it meant that I had to get rid of loads of books. I kind of low-key regret this now, but this is how I've organised it. On the top were my favourites but least favourites of the favourites, and then the third and second shelf were the favourites category the kind of big favorites and then the bottom shelf is my harry potter shrine which is the favorites of favorites so let's get into it also <laughs> i'm really short so i can't actually reach my very top shelf so i'm going to have my trusty chair as my little step ladder i'm also going to point out with this chair i still can't actually reach the top i will do my best for today though <laughs> so as you can see this is the top shelf and I've decorated it with some cute little Yankee candles and a skull that my dad bought for me. So the books on this shelf are, I've got some older ones that I used to read when I was younger. I've got my mum's old book and I've got a couple of little other ones that I just couldn't bear to part with because I really enjoyed them. So uh, we've got <laughs> everything everything we've got don't even think about it and think twice we've also got the darkest part of the forest now i would actually have this further down but i don't have space for it further down but i really really enjoyed that i've also got the fallen series and i've also got luna chronicles i've then got some classics kind of round here we've got a little bit of enid blighton we've got some more enid blighton we've got a bit of roald dahl we've got moon dial that was my mum's book then we've got Fangirl. I haven't read it since I was probably about 14, to be honest, but I've kept it ever since. I've then got Anne of Green Gables, some classics. We've got City of Halves. I've also got A Breath of Frost, and I don't really remember what happened, although I do remember really enjoying it. But one thing I'm going to say about them is that they're not actually called that anymore. I did some digging, and I was really confused because I was like, there's no trace of this on the internet, or if I typed it in, it was like really old eBay copies from ages ago. It's not called the Love Grove Legacy anymore, it's called something else. But yeah, so I've got an OG copy of The London Witches, I think it might be called something like that. But anyway, then my next shelf a little bit more exciting in my opinion sorry to decorate this shelf i've got a few yankee candles and a i think this is an asda one. Oh my god it smells so nice i've got a nice rude rude diffuser <laughs> rude diffuser <laughs> my god and i've got some pictures of my family and then i've obviously got all of my books i've got the lovely dan and phil's books i've then got the throne of glass series I'm very aware that this is not finished. <laughs> I didn't realise there were actually quite a few more books after this. Based on the feelings of the books, as in how the spines feel, I think I've only actually read these first four. I've not read Empire of Storms and I've definitely not read the other books. So I need to get on that. We've then got the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I really, really, really loved this. I then remember really enjoying this. I can't remember what I thought about this. But I also know that there's another book of this, which I do need to get my hands on. Well, I need to reread these. I've then got The Hunger Games. Absolutely adore The Hunger Games. The Maze Runner. Really love The Maze Runner. Got some special editions. We've then got Aristotle and Dante. Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I remember vividly reading this in my dad's car. Really enjoyed it. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Again, a really, really, really good book. The Selection. Absolutely loved this series. I genuinely cannot explain how much I love that, that series. I loved it. 
and then I reread it and I just re kind of fell in love with the series. Really enjoyable. It's got the right amount of everything. And then we've got the Beautiful Creatures series. We've then got Ready Player One. We've then got Carry On and Wayward Son. I have also got Anywhere the Wind Blows, but it doesn't fit on this shelf, so it is elsewhere. I will show you my uh, little hidey hole of books at the end of the video. We've then got Prince Caspian in the corner. So this is my third shelf, which is my favourites, or part of my favourites. Now let's go to the next one. I can reach this one. This is my next shelf, again, full of favourites. The books on this shelf, I think, are definitely, definitely up there. So I've decorated it with, I've got a little fake plant, we've got some candles, we've got a little S, Sophie, a drama award, I won a college, my little Eeyore, a little Among Us figure, of course, needed one with an alien on the head. We've then got a lovely candle that my friend bought me for Christmas. We've got another candle, can you tell I quite like having candles around? Well, that my sister bought me for my birthday last year. Some other little candles. Please excuse the dust. <laughs> uh, and then a little board. And then two little figurine things that I bought in Prague. And then a little plant on top of my Percy Jackson books. So over here on the right, we have got Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus series. Oh my god, I love Percy Jackson. I It's just fabulous. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I just absolutely love it. Rick Ryden is hilarious but also writes an amazing story so I've got nothing bad to say about these books. Absolutely love them. We've then got the girl who circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making. <laughs> Such a long title. Really 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 good books. Really enjoyed them. I think they're technically for fairly young children. Well I say fairly young maybe like 12 year olds but I absolutely love this story it's very outlandish and I just love it to be honest so next we've got the Mortal Instruments series including kind of the Infernal Devices, Mortal Instruments and then the Dark Artifices so as you can probably tell absolutely love a bit of Cassandra Clare so Mortal Instruments love it, Infernal Devices love it, tell you what though Clockwork Princess, cannot read the end of it without just absolutely sobbing. And then we've got Dark Artifices. I'm so annoyed, I don't know if this annoys anyone else, but I don't have this, I don't have Queen of Air and Darkness in the same copy as these two, but I bought this too late and these are, I think, Waterstones limited edition copies. Until they release them again, I'm going to have to put up with having an odd one. We've then got the Iron Trial Magisterium series. I've got the second and third one as well here. Speaking of actually, I've met Cassandra Clare twice and we've met Holly Black as well. My friend and I went to their like talk and signing for Magisterium the Iron Trial. I've got these two. I don't think I've read the bronze key. I know there's I know more of this is out. I know way more of this is out which uh, I need to catch up on. And then we've got Accident Season and We Were Liars and then we move further along and of course we've got the Twilight series. Absolutely iconic. I don't think I will ever be able to part from this. I've actually got two copies of Midnight Sun. My lovely friend actually gave me a signed copy because she received two. So so I was more than happy to welcome that to my collection. My other one is hidden elsewhere, still got it. We've then also got my Kindle <laughs> hidden in the corner. I've then got all of the Narnia books, which I stole from my granddad's house. So this is my second bookshelf. And then we go down to my Harry Potter shrine. Can you tell I like Harry Potter? This is my pride and joy. I am continually adding bits and bobs to it. We've got some ones. This one is from Etsy. It was part of my Halloween costume this year. We've then got Harry's Wand, which when I worked at Nando's, they bought me as a leave-in gift. And then we've got the one and only Hermione Granger's Wand, which I keep in here. We've then got a Ministry of Magic sign. We've got my Hogwarts letter, which I'm not going to show you the other side. It's got my old address on it. But I actually received that when I was 11, which I think was really cool. Thank you, Mum. We've then got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child production book thing you can get from the theatre. We've then got some little like magazine-y things, we've got a sticker book, colouring book. It's me! No way! I forgot I had that. We've then got these beasts. We've got the page to screen book. I got this I think just before Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out, the Christmas before. We've got all of these kind of like behind the scenes making of books for Fantastic Beasts and for Harry Potter. We've then got Harry Potter A History of Magic and then we've also got all the illustrated editions that have been released of the Harry Potter books. After that we've got a little Newt Scamander scrapbook and then we've got Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and we've got the screenplay 
for Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find them. We've then got all of the Harry Potter books, including Quidditch Through the Ages, Tales of Beed of the Bard, and Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find them. So I've actually got three copies of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So I've got that Gryffindor 20 year anniversary edition. I've got two copies of the first one. This is one, as you can probably tell, is the one that I actually read. This is like my decorative copy. We've then got Chamber of Secrets and Chamber of Secrets. So I've got two copies of them because, right. So I'm probably going to sound really strange here, but I wanted all the same copies of the Harry Potter books so there's several editions and I wanted all of them to be not necessarily first editions but the first edition cover so I had Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire and uh, Order of the Phoenix and Deathly Hallows they were the original ones I had in the original covers Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone is technically an original cover but it's an anniversary edition of the original cover if that makes sense but I let it slide I do let it slide I then had I think the second or third edition version of Chamber of Secrets and Half the Prince so this will explain why I've got a couple of copies of each book basically I want them to be the same but I'm not getting rid <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of the duplicate copies I have because I still want to keep them of course yes we've got two copies of Chamber of Secrets the original cover and then whichever edition that is this two <laughs> copies of Prisoner of Rascal I've got hardback this is my uncle's which I stole from my granddad's like I steal most books from my granddad's and then we've got the paperback which I found in a charity shop you can probably see also that a lot of these are faded so I used to have my bookshelves where my bed frame is so the sun would kind of has bleached half of the prints for example that's supposed to be this colour that's completely faded so then we've got goblet of fire order of the phoenix half the prince half blood prince again and then we've got deathly hallows we've got another deathly hallows book this is a first edition limited edition hardback i don't think any of these are around anymore or they're definitely not printed anymore and then we've got so i've got all of the special editions or i think all of them bar half blood prince because i can't find it of the dvds and they came with picture book thingy with bobs and cards and stuff so i've kept them there and i've also got my harry potter making of passport We've then got a little bit of apparel. I've got my <laughs> lovely Hermione Granger dolls and my lovely picture of Emma Watson. <laughs> We've got a little... Grandma bought it for me because she said it was Gryffindor colours, um, which I agree with. I love it. So I use it as my little book stop. I've then got a little owl. I've got Hedwig. I've got a real time turner and a fake time turner. This is a Quidditch box. It's got a quaffle and two bludgers in it. Then we've got a couple of ones. We've got a Snitch, some Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit, Harry Potter Double, another Hogwarts letter, which I got from Waterstones. We've then got Hermione Hermione Granger's wand and Harry Potter's wand as pens and then I've got all my little figures up here we've got the 20th anniversary editions Funko Pops from the films got Hermione in her Yubel gown we've got Harry Hermione and Ron I think I think this is technically Chamber of Secrets, these ones. So I've got these on Chamber, well, this drone's definitely is. Chamber of Secrets, we've got Dumbledore. Then we've got another little Harry. We've got Hedwig. And then we've got, these are all stampers. And then, of course, I've got some Harry Potter glasses as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've also got Snape's Patronus, which is a dem. And that is it. That is my Harry Potter shelf. And that is my whole main bookshelf. However, there's something else I need to show you. This is not all of the books that I have, and I have them in my wardrobe. <laughs> so, this is my wardrobe shelf. We've got a bit of Cassandra Clare, some chain of gold and chain of iron in here. Then we've got a couple of other, <laughs> we've got an Orlando guide. We've got some older books here. We've got Red Queen and the second one of that. We've got a skin full of shadows. The Book Thief here. We've got the Mistborn trilogy, which is brilliant. We've got you will get through this night that president snow hunger games book we've got i think a couple of old doll books here here is my other copy of midnight sun we've then got red white and royal blue once upon a broken heart we've got serpent and dove we've got cool prince and wicked king we've then got a special edition of the fever code which i stole from my sister because she wants to get rid of it we've got anyway the wind blows we've got the house in the Cruelian Sea. We've got the invisible life of Adi Laurie. Then we've got the Priory of the Orange Tree. I finished this two days ago now. It is amazing. It, it's, a, it's a big book. It, it was a bit intimidating. I was like, it's massive, but it's fine. I can do it. It's just amazing. It was so, so good. If you like fantasy, if you like magic, if you like dragons, read this book. There is my wardrobe bookshelf as well, which as you can see, is probably going to get pretty full pretty soon and ta-da there we have it 
this was a tour of my bookshelves. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if there are any book readers out there you might have seen something that you fancy reading or that you can recommend to me that I don't have. I am more than happy to take some recommendations as this year uh, is the year of reading for me. But thank you so much for watching. I also have a little sneaky uh, bookstagram if anyone fancies having a look. I mean you don't have to if you don't want to. I also have my normal Instagram too if you fancy having a nosy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.